what's going on guys, my name is Madison Charlton from MLC Tech and today we're going to be talking about an issue that Gigabyte has been facing with some of its line of GPUs, that being its RTX 4090 and 4080 line of GPUs, where the PCBs of those cards were actually cracking under pressure. And the reason why we're talking about this issue today is that Gigabyte has finally come out and acknowledged that this is indeed an issue with its design of GPUs, with a revision to its PCB design to address this very issue. So sit back and relax as we dive into the PCB cracking issue at Gigabyte and the revisions they have made to address this very issue. Now for those of you who were unaware of this issue initially, several Gigabyte RTX 40 and in some cases even some 30 series GPUs were a victim of what could be described as a design malfunction within their PCBs which led to cracks of the actual PCB in specific areas and these cracks damaged the PCI lanes inside of the GPU preventing data transfer and ultimately leading to a useless GPU. But the worst thing about this issue is that several people affected tried to claim this issue with Gigabyte through an RMA request and in most cases Gigabyte rejected their request straight up. And this led to a whole range of discourse over the internet of this issue itself but it seems like Gigabyte has come out and silently acknowledged that this is indeed an issue with its PCB as it seems like Gigabyte has actually made some design changes with their new batch of RTX 4090 and RTX 4080 GPUs labelled as a version 1.1 but before we carry on, I need to come out and say that I do have some personal investment within this very issue. While I'm quite lucky that I've not experienced this issue, I have a Gigabyte Aorus Master RTX 4090 in my system, which is one of the cards that has been reported to be susceptible to this very error, and I have a version 1 revision of that GPU, so technically I could be susceptible to this very issue, though we will talk later in steps I've taken to mitigate this risk, and why this is a wider issue in terms of GPU design as a whole. Now news of this investigation comes from a Redditor called Misinformation Always, who actually managed to make a comparison between the older and newer revisions of the Gigabyte's RTX 4090 and 4080 GPUs where it had been noted that significant changes have been made to the PCB design of this GPU, with the later revision coming with a beefier 70A VRM setup, and this has made an overall design much more stable since weight distribution has been improved by a great margin, and it's expected that this change to the weight distribution might cater to the problem of the PCB cracking in the upcoming units. So while I think it's great to see Gigabyte Camera and make these changes to improve the design of their GPUs, it is still unfortunate for consumers who have already been affected and have their version 1 cards affected by the cracking PCB issue. Especially as it's reported that Gigabyte didn't entertain any of the RMA requests. And Gigabyte hasn't officially mentioned the problem anywhere themselves, so it isn't exactly confirmed what SKUs have received the new design changes as a whole. So I think it's really disappointing that Gigabyte has decided not to honour these RMA requests while also silently acknowledge that this was an issue caused by the design of their PCBs themselves. The fact that they've made a revision to the GPUs to counter a problem that a lot of people were facing and an issue that they denied multiple RMA requests for just goes to show that they were aware that this was an issue all of this time and they made this silent revision hoping that it would just go away and they wouldn't receive any more future RMA requests for this issue on further iterations to come. So the fact that they made this revision to these GPUs just goes to show that they internally acknowledge that this is an issue. So in all honestly, they should come out on the RM request for the version one cards of these GPUs that were susceptible to this PCB cracking issue. Otherwise, if it was just purely user error and not a design fault of their GPUs, then why would they come out and make a revision to these cards if it wasn't an issue on their end to begin with? So really, Gigabyte, you really need to be honouring the RMA requests of these version 1 GPUs. But despite that, this does raise a wider issue when it comes to the design of modern day GPUs, especially so in the high end. And regardless of what brand of graphics cards you go out and buy, consumers do need to take any precautionary measures when it comes to the installation of their GPUs, when it comes to any modern 40 series or any slightly older flagship GPUs where there's so much pressure on a small PCB, where we have seen with the 30 and 40 series, the actual design of the PCB themselves getting much smaller, more compact and more well engineered, whereas the cooler mechanisms to cool these chips are getting larger and larger and larger, 
and when the PCB is getting smaller as these coolers are getting exponentially larger so much so it can dramatically change the weight distribution of these GPUs instead of a cooler being directly evenly distributed amongst the entire PCB we've seen a big hunk of a cooler hang off the edge of a PCB causing an even greater issue with the weight distribution of these GPUs so this overall design direction has been causing more issues when it comes to the actual weight support of these GPUs due to just how heavy they are and how much smaller these PCBs actually are so if you are installing any of these type of GPUs, make sure you include any supported brackets or anti sag mechanisms that you can find, whether that being additional mounted support brackets for your case where you can prop up your GPU, whether that be a mount directly in your case that provides additional weight support on one end of the GPU, to these additional PCI support brackets where they screw into the PCI slot on your case and support the card from the bottom of your GPU. Other potential ways to help mitigate this issue is buying a vertical mount for your GPUs which can serve an aesthetic purpose while also a practical support for your GPU as well. Anyway, that's going to be it for today's video. Let me know all of your thoughts and opinions on this topic in the comments down below. Are you personally affected by this issue? Do you have a Gigabyte ITX 4090 or 4080 GPU? And are you worried to your card being susceptible to your PCB cracking? Or are you someone who went with a different brand but you're still worried about the weight distribution of your car due to just how big and heavy these modern day coolers are? Let me know all of your thoughts around this in the comments down below. Anyway, I have been Madison Charlton from MLC Tech. Thank you so much for watching today's video. If you liked it in any way, shape or form, make sure to give this video a like and maybe subscribe for more content like this in the future. Anyway, thank you so much for watching today's video and I hope to see you in another video soon. Goodbye for now.